as far as uh, right now being 50 competing versus 40 competing, 30 competing, 25 competing, what's the biggest difference you're feeling with your body? I really don't feel anything with my body, to be honest with you. I don't have any aches or pains anywhere. Um, that newbie machine I use for my legs has taken so much pressure off my knees that I don't feel anything in my knees. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to go heavier than I've normally, you know, than I've normally been going. Mm -hmm. And um, and it still keeps the pressure off my knees. So that's why I've been able to bring my legs back. You know what I'm saying? So that was the main thing. And everything else, my joints feel good. Um, overall, I feel amazing. I can do this another 10, 15 years if I you want to. You feel like you can go another 10 years? Uh, yeah, of course I can. So if you can go another 10 years, then why are you talking about retirement? Because you know in your heart when it's time to let it go. It's, it's time. It's, it's 22 years. It's just, it's time to let it go. I won't go out on top. But you specifically said, I will retire when I stop competing in the top six. I did say that, and I have been saying that, but, but you want to listen to your mind and your heart, too. If my heart says it's time to let it go, it's time to go and go on to bigger and better things, and that's what it's time to do. Interesting. You know, a lot of people don't believe you're going to be done. A lot of people think uh, uh, because, and the reason for it is not, you know how some people, you watch a player and you say, you know, I think he should have retired two years before. Well, you know what? After what I presented this past weekend, a lot of people are saying that. I even thought of myself for a second. I was like, no, no, no. Your ass is retired. <laughs> so I am really done. Um, you guys are going to be surprised. Now, don't start crying when your boy gone. But I'm definitely going to retire. This is my final year. And um, I've always said I'm going to give myself, you know, like you just said, I, I've always said as long as I'm in the top five, that's just me talking, as long as I'm in the top five, I'm going you know, to continue competing. Yeah. Or, or as long as the body holds up or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. I, I've always said that, but I've never, and I've always said I've given myself a year or two but I've never said I'm retiring. This is it this year. I've never said that. This is the first time I've said it. I want a record saying it, and um, it's gonna happen. How did that decision come about? How'd you make the decision my, to? Me and my, my fiance, we sit down and, um, and my family talk about it, and we just feel it's the right time. Any specific reason for it, or is it just was well, it I got something so, where it's kind of like so many other business opportunities that's what that I'm I have asking. to pursue, right? And I can't do it while I'm still competing. It's just too much going on. You know, I'm away from my family. A lot of people don't know that I'm away from my family, probably eight months out of the year. I go to L.A. and stay to L.A. Mm -hmm. just to train. You know, I train with Charles Glass out there. I've had an apartment out there for ten years now, so it's rough on the family too. You know, if it weren't for FaceTime, we'd probably be done. FaceTime saves lives, saves relationships. So definitely FaceTime is what helped me and her be able to communicate and we both got an understanding because she was the main one to say, well, look, Dex, you need to go out there, you know, because at first when I started going out there, I started training with Charles Glass, mm -hmm. okay? And I would go out there for two weeks, lug all my stuff back to Florida, stay there for another two weeks, then go back out to LA, train with Charles for two weeks and spending all this money on, you know, vehicles to rent and 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 hotels and she said you know what you need to just find a place out there S just stay out there and train keep all your stuff out there that when you got to worry about lugging it back you know you just have everything out there that you need and then when the show's over just come on back home and and have your family time and I could come out there and chill out there you know sometimes during a few times during the year and which is what we do and so we got a very good understanding and um, it's amazing to have a woman behind you 100% like that that's going to support you. Um, so, guys, if you out there, man, you got a good woman like that, you need to hold on to that woman because she is definitely the backbone of, you know, what I got going on, my relationship and all that stuff, man. She's amazing, Gail is.